Welcome to Keith Trim Dragon Art, where today on the easel is an alien xenomorph. If you follow my page, you know I do these a lot. I do them because it's a cool design. I can do a lot with it, and because I grew up with it uh, as a kid, and I just love the alien. We're starting off today by just doing, um, well, I, I freehanded the drawing in pencil. I didn't record that. I probably should have. But now I'm inking it with my magic marker, and uh, now I'm going over it with, uh, it's basically it's an ink wash. It's a black paint that I thin down to this consistency of ink so I can do my heavy outlines. And I go through and I thicken up all my uh, edges and key points that need to be thick. It, I, I have a comic booky kind of style anyway. Now I'm uh, putting in my first layer of color. I use this right out of the tube. Well, not really. It's, it's a blue bluish gray and I add a little black to it just to knock it back a little bit and I go through and I just fill in the parts here and uh, this part is pretty tedious and it takes a while to get through all of it but um, I just backfill all the white uh, you're probably wondering why I just don't do it in blue first and put black on and that's just not the way I do it uh, I've always chose to put the black on first and then backfill it gives it an interesting look uh, if you're a painter you might know what I'm talking about but here I am, I'm putting in the chin, and the chin takes a while. It all takes a while. I'm not sure how much I'm going to narrate here, but um, this is one of my better ones uh, I've done so far. Um, I, I love the way it turned out. I was trying out a new kind of paper. It's an acrylic paper. It's for acrylic paints. It has uh, some texture to it, but if you flip it over, it's really smooth. And I use the smooth side, and it, it's really, I, don't, I won't say glossy, but it holds the paint well, and it's very smooth. And it, it, it works like canvas with gesso, which is a, what I was going for. Uh, purchasing the canvases got expensive and they're kind of bulky. But now that I'm using paper, you know, I can get the same results and put them in my portfolio and I'm done. And then you know, when I'm done, I'll have this massive portfolio, portfolio full of uh, monster paintings, which is what I do. If you follow the, my page or YouTube page, um, it's Keith Trim Dragon Art. But I call my work monster paintings because it's all I paint. Um, I don't usually do uh, pretty flowers and stuff. I, I, lately, I've been doing some stuff like chickens and uh, butterflies and things. Because I, I, as a YouTuber, I'm trying to be a YouTuber. It's, it's hard to figure out what people want to see, so I'm trying to you know cover my bases here, uh, which in a probably hurting me because it's not what I really want to do. I'm not really into chickens and butterflies. I'm into like monsters, but um, I'm having a hard time getting views. I'm having a really hard time getting subscribers. So my goal right now is to get a hundred um, videos on the page. Uh, Mr. B said at a hundred, you start getting some views. And I hope so. Cause you know, right now I'm hitting about 10 for each and it's pretty miserable considering that it takes me about two to three hours per painting. Um, I mean, I'm not just, you know, whipping, the, whipping them out um, easy. These take a lot of time. Um, if you watch the process, I put in my, my uh, marker pen, I paint over it, I go through and I shade everything with uh, ink, uh, ink wash, which is technically uh, black thin down paint. And then I go and put my, about five layers of highlights on there, and it takes forever. And I don't want to sound like I'm bitching, but I'm bitching because it's a lot of work, you know, and I want to be famous like everybody else, you know. So um, if you're still watching this, that's great because most people click off within the first 30 seconds. Um, oh, yeah, I want to talk about this too. If you're a painter, or an artist, and you're here to, you know, learn something, that's fantastic. Um, I learned to paint watching Bob Ross when I was a kid. But that's not the real reason why I do this page. Um, I do this page because I like watching videos where people make crafty stuff. You know, they, they turn wood, uh, they take old toy cars and they refurbish them and they make stuff that I will never in a million years do on my own. And I want people who watch me paint. My main target audience is people who just want to watch somebody do something fun. When I watched Bob Ross, you know, I could paint, but I enjoyed watching the process. I enjoy watching myself paint. I'm not trying to you know, brag or anything, but I, it, it boggles my mind how I do this. I mean, I, I go, did I do that? How did I do that? What, you know, what, was my, what was I thinking when I did this? You know, So I, I learned from watching myself, which is kind of weird. But um, I'm hoping people are coming here uh, just to watch the process because I think it's fascinating. You know, I, I like watching somebody turn wood or, you know, carve a, 
a log into a bear, or all sorts of crazy things on YouTube. So that's my target audience. But if you're a, an artist and you have a question, you know, just fire me a, a, a question in the comments. And I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing here. It's just acrylic paint. I, I thin it down an awful lot. You know, I use a lot of washes. I use a lot of glazes. Um, you know, my influences go back to the 1980s. Uh, you know, Frank Frazetta type stuff. You know, I'm, I'm an old man now, so that's that's where I'm coming from. Um, right here, I'm putting on my first layer or second layer of highlights, and I go through several layers to, to build that thick, thick, thick um, feeling. And I just love the way this paint works on this board. It's so, it's so nice. Uh, creamy, it holds well. Uh, it's just it's fantastic. So here I am putting on more highlights. This is probably my third layer of highlights right here. Um, I, I love the way this is coming along. I love the way that things are trying to get 3D looking. You know, uh, the top of the Xenomorph's head looking 3D. And I even, haven't even put my top layer of highlights on yet. Um, towards the end of the video, I kind of have a little bit of a mess up. I'm, I'm having some struggles with my backgrounds. I tried something and it really didn't work, so I had to paint over it. You'll get to it here eventually. Um, I'm not sure how much more I'm going to narrate here because you've probably logged off by now anyway. If you haven't, leave me some comments, subscribe, send this to your friends, and try to get me uh, some people. Uh, I, I need some fans, you know, I, re I really do. Because it's really hard putting out 70, this is like my 75th video, you know. It, it's, it's taxing. I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, I enjoy what I do. But it's a lot of work just to get, you know, I, I have four videos that have over 100 views. Four out of 75. And I know YouTube's a big place, and I know you're supposed to keep with it and keep plugging along and plugging along, but my gosh, uh, that's a lot of plugging. Anyway, I'm going to end the narration right here, and if you want to continue to watch to the, to the end, and I would because the payoff is at the end. If anything, my watch time is really very good. If I can snag somebody, I usually have them to the end, which is really good because people want to see how it's going to turn out. So, anyway, thank you. Rises to the surface, looking for a place to go. Never 